Good Sunday morning. It is 644 and today we have the prospect at least in some parts of the state for seeing a temperature of near 90 degrees and should we it could be the start of the next heat wave. In addition to that it would be adding to the tally of 90 degree days that we've had so far this season. Normally we see 17 we're already at 23 so we're already above the average number of days we've seen and looks like we'll put at least two or three more days on top of that one and you can see too with the satellite and radar the other thing about today is that for the most part we have general Generally speaking, quiet weather across Connecticut and through much of upstate New York, at least right now. So what this does represent for us is the possibility and actually the likelihood that the cloudy skies that we have this morning, those low stratus clouds that often come in when it's warm and humid, those should mix out and offer us a partly sunny sky. We don't have any major rainstorm, in other words, right down the pike coming in our direction. Having said that though, as we look toward tonight, I think we are going to see the development of showers and storms over New York that then come in here as we look towards the early part of tonight. So we do have the chance for some showers and storms. And on that subject, the Storm Prediction Center, which is that agency down in Oklahoma City or in that area that looks at severe weather potential and highlights areas across the country that might see some. And you can see that it does, at the marginal, the very lowest risk, does include part of Connecticut in this. I think what's going to happen is there'll be a cluster of thunderstorms out over upstate New York. There is where they're probably going to see a fair number of severe thunderstorm warnings, perhaps, as a result of that. At least possibly. As that system continues to move in our direction, it is going to be decaying. The timing on it's important. I think right now it's going to be coming here late enough that our chance for severe weather is very, very small, if not zero. We'll keep our eyes on it, and if it's any sooner, or if the storms have any more strength farther to the west than what we're thinking right now, we might be singing a different tune. But right now, the main thing is, as we look towards like 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, kind of like what happened last night. Some downpours, some lightning and thunder, but no severe wind or hail. Let's go to the pinpoint Doppler full screen. You can see we do have nothing going on in terms of rain. Now our early warning future cast does depict what we're seeing now, a lot of clouds, but there are parts of northwestern Connecticut, even now that's not seeing the stratus cloud cover that much of the state is. But look what happens closer to noon. A lot of that goes away and we're left with just partly cloudy skies. Probably going to be a lot of fog though, especially on the Rhode Island coastline, maybe through parts of Avery Point uh, and parts of other parts of New London County in the fog for a while, even towards noon and into the early afternoon. If you're going to Block Island, it's probably going to be foggy there. But for most of Connecticut, just a partly cloudy sky. Then as we look towards the early to mid afternoon, or actually I should say mid to late afternoon, we will see the possibility of an isolated shower or storm trying to bubble up. Not a lot of dynamics will exist here to really help foster those though. So when we talk about it, we're only talking about it today in the most isolated sense. Most of us today will just have a partly cloudy sky and that's going to be with the high heat and humidity. As I said, maybe sometimes could get close to 90 degrees today. Then there is that cluster of storms that will be up to, through upstate New York today. Nine o'clock tonight, they might be knocking on our door and here's about 10 o'clock. You see as they're coming into Connecticut, they are falling apart a bit. It's not to say we wouldn't have some downpours and lightning and thunder, but the severe potential should be a lot lower for us, really close to zero as we look towards tonight. As these are coming through. This is about midnight and you can see they basically dissolve overhead as we go just past midnight. So in your early morning seven day forecast, we do have to include that that shower and thunderstorm threat, particularly this evening and tonight. Overnight lows after our high of 90 will get to 71. So it's going to be quite a stuffy night ahead. And then tomorrow and Tuesday, Low 90s inland, 80s along the shore, good beach days, but in the afternoons, an isolated shower storm possible both of those days again, as we will have that high humidity around. Wednesday's showers and storms are part of a cool front that finally swings on through, kind of cleans out the air so that Thursday and Friday, they're both a lot drier.